the argument being put is what the Muslim community has, and I'll be specific since you're choosing to be specific about it as well, why not go into the details, Ms. Irani? That, that the feeling is that you have come in as a minority affairs minister with a preconceived agenda, and that you are slowly, as the elections approach, as the elections approach, you are slowly unfurling that agenda. Can you give me the evidence as minority you are, you, minister, what have I done? Well, you probably you follow an agenda on things. No, give me evidence. Okay. Don't give me Congress whispers. For example, the, what you're doing with the Waqf board. What am I doing? You're, you're taking it away. You're Who taking said? away, I'm, I'm putting the other side. Uh, the, you're Who taking said? away. Give me evidence. People who are fond of you You're say, normally not at a loss for words, so people, give me evidence People now. who are fond of you say, I'm not at a loss for words at all, don't <laughs> provoke me. Mr. Rani, please. Uh, we've been to... Uh, uh, we have Mr. two uh, distinguished legal eagles seated I was just, again. I, I and just I'm looking thought, at them. Give, show me the evidence. I just thought that since being a spokesperson and now a minister... I've you never are been a spokesperson. Again, a correction that needs to be made. No, I've thought, never been an official spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janta Party. Well, I've since you've appeared on 317 I've been the programs vice president of, of Bharatiya Janta Party. I've been the national president right. of the women's wing. I've been a five-time part of the executive. I've been all of that, including twice the national secretary, but I've never been the spokesperson. But since you're avoiding the question on I'm the Waqf board. I'm stating facts. No, I'm saying so you're a minority affairs minister yes. who has come with a preconceived agenda Which to is take what? away, to take away under the guise of misappropriation of properties, the rights of the Muslim community to have access to them and their chosen people the rights to manage the Waqf board, which goes where? into... Give me the where? evidence. Across the country. Give me the evidence. Across the country. Show me a signature on any file. Well, I mean, let me put it to you that you are taking away and from... And I'm mindful of the fact yeah, everything I'm, I sign will be duly RTI'd by the Congress Party well, and those for who example, love me For example, since hmm. let's go into details, Mr. Rani, there is, a, there is an organization which has been entrusted by the previous dispensations of managing the affairs and developing rightly the properties that are assigned under the Waqf board. Hmm. And that you, you have an agenda to break up that body. That and you have an agenda. Since you're, no, since you're asking me and you had a... You had a you Give had me a the name of the body. Since you had this feeling that I'm not prepared enough for this, I think, uh, Miss Irani, the fact of the matter is you want to break up that body. What is that body? That body is called Nawad Ko. Mm -hmm. And that body has been set up by the Congress government. And the body has been duly set up under the Constitution of India to manage hundreds of thousands of crores of waqf properties which should be rightly held and managed by so members me of the Muslim community. Issue. And therefore, let me expand. Let me expand. And therefore... Well, I'm the looking at a very shocked uh, push page. Kulshesh right there. He's wondering what is his body Hello, I've never heard about. Uh, let me correct you no. on that issue. There is an institution called Navadko. Correct. It is uh, made, uh, in fact, made live by Sriman Mohan Singh in January 2014, just before the general elections. Your information is correct that Navadko is the only Section 25 company in the country that has been given the mandate to take money, uh, especially from the taxpayers to help maintain, develop, economically resuscitate private work properties. That it is an anomaly is true. That there is no other Section 25 company in the country where taxpayers' money is used to maintain personal private properties of a particular religious dispensation in the country. But you and I both know that I will not be taking administrative decisions in a summit I can only assure you this, because your summit talks about the time of transformation, right. that since this right is denied to every other religion in the country, I will bring it up to power. Please, uh, repeat that. That you will? That you will bring it? I'll create equality. No, I, uh, I think you basically are agreeing with everything I said. Did and I? I feel that therefore, this is a headline grabbing moment where the Union Minister for Minorities appears to be saying to me, appears to be saying to me, and to, appears to be saying to a lot of people in the audience that she's going to break up 
the body that no, runs no, work think, board institutions in the country. Did I, I just get the day's I biggest think headline here? you are here? in the business of prediction, presumption, and then presentation. I'm not in that business at all. I have said what I have said. We need to recognize, Arnab, that there is a cauldron in which the Congress party wants this country to boil in. And that cauldron is called religion. Do not set fire to things. Who's setting fire? I will only say. You think Prime a, Minister as, Manmohan as, as Singh a, in a, 2014 yes. was setting things on fire if, by setting up if Nawazko? If I can recollect correctly, the date of establishment was the 28th of January 2014. I wonder why Dr. Manmohan Singh felt that a Section 25 company has to be specifically created to look after private properties of a particular religious community. I have never spoken to Dr. Manmohan Singh about it, wow. but I believe that there is a sense of outrage about it, as you have rightly exhibited it. I cannot be callous and irresponsible and make pronouncements about what am I to do with that particular institution. I can only say this, that I am sworn to uphold the Constitution and ensure that all Indians are equal under law, and I promise you that equality is all that I'll say.